So good afternoon, my name is Christopher DeAndrean. I'm a member of the class of 2015 in the Physician Assistant Studies Program. It is an honor to welcome you here to Rush University on behalf of the students of the College of Health Sciences. I grew up in South Texas right on the Gulf of Mexico and it's there that I grew up surfing. And I got a great piece of advice from an old surfer and I wanted to share it with you today. He said that whenever you travel to a new surf spot that you should before you discharge off in the water, you should take a second, and sit on the shore and watch the native surfers and how they approach that break, where they paddle out, where they catch their biggest waves. And so today, as you sit on the shores of Rush, I wanted to point out a few things to you. First, the water here is great. For me, it's been full of lots of challenges, opportunities, and a lot of fun. So next, I wanted to point out the faculty. We have the unique advantage to be lectured not only by our faculty, but also have lectures from many of the programs in the College of Health Sciences. We get respiratory lectures, we get nutrition lectures, we have lectures from perfusion. In fact, I'll never forget my infectious disease lectures given by Dr. Flaws in Clinical Laboratory Sciences. And I pray that if you ever have to learn about trichomonas, that is from someone as passionate about motility on the wet mountain as Dr. <laughs> Flaws. I found that there are two passions that are common amongst the faculty. First, the passion for teaching, and second, the passion for treating patients. If you ever feel like the faculty are being tough on you, realize that it comes from a place of understanding the demands of your future profession and the needs of your future patient. When the waters get rough here at Rush, make sure you go to your faculty. From my experience, they can keep you off the rocks and point you towards the biggest wave. And next, I wanted to point out the, and highlight the community service here at Rush. As many of you know, there's a community service requirement at Rush. And the word requirement sometimes taints the gift that is community service. As you'll see at Rush, your, your coursework will answer all the questions you have about how you practice and what you'll need to know to practice. But there's one question that no course here at Rush can answer, and that is why you do what you do. And that's where community service fits in. In the classroom, our work can seem so isolated, a grouping of symptoms and disorders, but outside these walls, that disease has a family, a face, and a story. The things we learn in the classroom become alive in front of our eyes, and it reminds us of our own humanity. As my preceptor always told me, we are all broken people, starting with ourselves. And more and more I realize that the, the practice of medicine relies less on one provider and more on a cohesive team. So as we sit in this room today, from all different walks of life, and I encourage you to meet as many people as you can. Just the other day, I had lunch with one of the students from the medical college, and it turns out his grandfather founded the largest leper colony in all of Korea, and he had taken a year off before medical college to go there. I think you'd be surprised at how the experiences of others can shape your own approach to medicine. I'm often asked my advice for PA school, and thus far, it's been simple. Three words, in fact. Embrace the suffering. Now, it may seem ridiculous, the, the term embrace the suffering, but in any program that you're in, whether you're in nutrition or you're in speech language pathology, sometimes the unsurmountable amount of knowledge seems like it's overwhelming. And then you'll find in every cohort, there's always going to be someone who complains. Take heart murmurs, for example. Oh no, heart murmurs, I hate heart murmurs. I can never learn heart murmurs. It's a lub, it's a dub, it's a swish, it's a swash. What I encourage you to do is to embrace it. To say, this morning I am gonna be a heart murmur. I eat heart murmurs for breakfast, you know? <laughs> I am a heart murmur. Because regardless of who you are, today will pass, tomorrow will come, and tomorrow you'll stand in front of a patient and they'll expect you to be an expert in heart murmurs. So I'll leave you with that. Go to the faculty when the waters get rough. Embrace the gift of community service meet each other, embrace the suffering, but most of all, enjoy the ride.